Hi, welcome to 1302 English. Let's get started by taking a look at the Blackboard course. First, you're going to see your start here, first day of class. So you're just going to click there. It will take you to a list of information here. You're going to see Read Me First, Welcome to the Class, the Syllabus, Weekly Calendar, About Your Professor, Professor Contact Info, and the ACC Academic Calendar. To get to your course materials, you're going to see all the course content listed here. Your textbook is listed. Um, syllabus is next, so let's start there. You're going to see that come right up for you. Then you'll see your weekly calendar. About the weekly calendar, if you're looking for due dates, look on the weekly calendar. Sometimes Blackboard will put in the build date of the assignment, and regardless of how many times I change that, Blackboard won't override it, so if you see a discrepancy, simply refer back to your weekly calendar. All of the weekly calendar due dates are correct. Usually the Blackboard due dates are correct as well, but if in doubt, or if there is a discrepancy, simply go back to the weekly calendar, and that will answer all of your questions. The first column is the week. The second is what is inside the homework folder, and the third column is the due dates. So just work all the way through, and you'll see that each week is set up. You're going to see this exact same setup. This is going to match exactly what's in your homework and activities folder. Next, you have your textbook link. Just a, a quick note about the textbook. I am going to put in the study notes. Those of you that have difficulty determining what's important in the chapter, the study notes have fill in the blanks for those, and you can go through and just simply make your own study guide for that. Um, we can refer back to the textbook as much as we like. However, the absurd fiction chapters pretty much have everything you need in those. So as long as you're working through those and, and you feel good about it, then all is well. Next is the course content folder. So if at any time you're looking for everything that's in the course, here it is. Okay, you're going to see all the folders there. Class information, which we just went through. The homework and activities are here as well. Okay, so you can simply see all the weeks are set up. Okay, I'm going to use my bread, bed, bread crumb here to get back to the course content. So you can go right across the top, which is called the bread crumbs. Got that out a little easier that time. Okay. Discussion board as well. You can see all your discussions are there. Submit folders are here. So all your major submissions are right here. You'll see that we have a safe assigned practice that will be open all semester long for you. You can use this as many times as you like with any essays, any courses, and there are no points assigned to it. Uh, I'm not checking in that. Uh, so you can use that as often as you like, unlimited. Academic response one. Now those are, the academic responses are 300 to 800 words. Those roll over into the longer essay. So you'll do the academic response with the same topic. You'll use the essay one to make it longer for a 1,600 to 2,000 words. Uh, and then we'll move to academic response two, which is 300 to 800 words. And that will roll that over into your essay two for the longer piece, 1,000 to 1,400 words. Then your academic response three is your reflection, and it goes on the final exam, which is your WIX of your projects, and it will walk you right through that. Now, the next thing on our list is my grades. So if you want to check your grades, you simply click on there, and you should see everything. Please take time to view feedback. I, I really do take time to give you uh, as much feedback as possible on the academic responses and the essays. So please take time to review your feedback so that you can make corrections to those. Communications is here, so if you want to uh, contact me, you can simply click here and it will give you the information on how to contact me. Now, you're going to see this email link on my course, but I'm not going to unhide that for your side. That's because it seldom works for me. The I don't know where the emails are going, somewhere in cyberspace. Sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. So therefore, 
uh, if you'll just use the email instead of uh, using this one right through here, it should go to me. Uh, as long as it's not going into the course, we should be okay. So, But if you don't hear back from me in a day or two, just shoot me a text and I'll get right back to you. If we need to meet, we will do so in the virtual meeting room. However, this is a strictly online course, so we have no set meetings. We can always meet if you need to, though, uh, if that's the case. If you need more help and resources, use the technical support or the Blackboard chat support. There is a career coach and then the library link is there as well. Uh, one thing I want to say is about the homework and activities. So if you'll just click on the homework and activities, this will get you started. And you'll see that each of those weeks is set up. All you have to do is work simply through the information in each week. You're going to see that the information right here corresponds with what's on the middle column in the weekly calendar. If we need something extra and it's in the folder for the week, go ahead and work it. It means that I've put it in there, but usually I'll, I'll put a note on there that I've added something so you'll know that something's been added in and not just there as a, you know, accident. Um, so that will put you all the way through the Blackboard course. Now it is an eight week course, so it's very fast paced. Uh, so if at any time you have questions or comments, please reach out to me. I'm really looking forward to having you in the class and I'm looking forward to our topics, which are social epidemics and absurd fiction. If you've never worked with absurd fiction, then you're in for a treat. So uh, have a wonderful course and let me know how I can be of help to you.